welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Korean, and on this channel, I do different crafting videos, budgeting videos, and savings challenge videos. But today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing. I got this package in from Vibrant Vibes Inc. I feel like I've been waiting forever on it, but it was in real time literally not that long but it's here and i'm excited about it and i'm excited to show it to you and let you know what i'm going to be doing with it so if you're interested in the new craft that i'm going to be starting keep watching <music> This is my order form. I believe this is my ink. So I have one, two, three, four, five different color inks. And then it came with some gloves and the tip of syringes. I don't see any syringes in here, but I have some syringes left over from when I filled my sublimation printer up. Put this to the side. I got some powder. I really underestimated the amount that I was going to get because the bottles are filled with more ink than I thought I was going to get and more powder. Although it specifically said what I was getting. I don't know why I was expecting less, but I got more and I'm glad about it. And this is the paper. So if you haven't guessed yet, the new craft that I'm going to be doing is DTF, which means direct to film printing. Um, this is not something that I've known about for a very long time. It's something that's kind of new to me, may not be new to anybody else, but I found out about it and I've been doing my research and I decided to try it out because with DTF, I'm not limited to what kind of shirts I can use as far as sublimation. You know, if you do sublimation or even if you don't, but if you're familiar with sublimation, you know that you can only use light colored shirts and then they have to have at least 65% polyester in them. And sometimes finding shirts that you like that have the 65% polyester is hard and finding shirts sometimes that have 100% polyester are a little hard too. So with DTF, I can get any kind of material, cotton shirts, polyester shirts, doesn't really matter and I can, if I wanted to go to Walmart, I can go to Walmart and get a shirt or I can order offline. So that's what I'm going to be doing. All right, so I've showed you all of my supplies and I got bubble wrap. I'm really excited about that so I can pop it, but no, you're not interested in the bubble wrap. Um, so the new craft that I'm going to be doing is, like I said, direct to film printing. Um, if you're interested in doing DTF, please do your research because it is not as simple as it is to get into like sublimation where you can buy a printer and then just install the ink cartridges 
or like the eco tanks, just add your sublimation ink and you're good to go. It's a little bit more complicated than that with DTF, the supplies to get started, depending on where you get your printer from, where you get your supplies from, if the printer is already converted, or if you have to convert the printer yourself, that is a lot of things that come into play. So you wanna research, 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 and then research even more. Um, I decided to go ahead and try this craft out. I don't have like all the knowledge about DTF, but I'm excited to get started. I'm excited to share my journey with you guys, whether I am successful with it or unsuccessful, I'm gonna share it with you anyway. And I'm gonna show you my printer in a little bit, but the printer that I got was the Epson 15,000. There are videos on YouTube, you can go watch. Not a lot of people have been successful with this printer. Some have, but some haven't. I decided to go with this printer because it was a cheaper investment right now. And I wanted to go ahead and get started when it comes to crafting. If I make my mind up that I want to do it, I'll do it and I don't want to wait. So I wanted to go ahead and get started with this printer. Um, but there are a lot of things that come into play. There are a lot of different printers. There is different software that you have to use for DTF. It is not like sublimation again, where you can get an image and print it out from Photoshop or print it out from Silhouette Studio or anything like that. There is specific software for DTF. Like I said before, I am not all that knowledgeable in DTF, but I, my friends sometimes call me the research queen because when I'm interested in something, I will spend so much time researching it. And that is what I have been doing probably for the last, probably the last three weeks. And I feel like I, I have basic knowledge of what I need to do to get started. So if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, I will find that answer for you if I can. And let's show you the printer that I got. So this is my new setup. I got a new table in. It's not as long as the other tables, but I'm using this table as like a printing table. And I've got uh, my sublimation printer there and my label printer. And of course my mouse pad that I made. And let me lower this so you can see my printer. Okay, here is my printer. It is the Epson XP 15,000. It is a photo printer. Another thing, um, the reason why, if you have a sublimation printer and it takes four inks, you couldn't, I don't, maybe you can, but it wouldn't be as easy to switch that out to DTF because you're gonna need white ink for DTF and sublimation, there's there's no way for the white ink. So you wanna make sure you get you a printer that has, I believe it's six cartridges. So this is my printer. It is a refurbished printer. I decided to go with the refurbished because again, I wanted my investment, my initial investment to be as low as possible and if it didn't work out and something happened to the printer, I wouldn't feel as bad having spent money on a refurbished one um, versus spending money on a brand new printer. I got it directly from the Epson website. Last time I checked, they were sold out, but check it, they may be restocked now. I believe uh, it was like 249. Altogether, it was like 270 something bucks. So not too bad. Uh, probably around the same price as an Epson workforce. Guys, that is it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed learning a little bit about DTF. And I hope you are excited to see my journey, just as excited as I am to share it with you. Please like the video. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing if you like to see crafting videos. I said earlier that I do sublimation videos. I also do a ton of embroidery videos.
probably not as many embroidery videos as I have done sublimation, but I'm trying to do more embroidery videos. So if you're interested in that, I use, I have three different embroidery machines, but I mainly use my PE8770, and then I have a multi-needle Recoma machine. So if you enjoyed that, please subscribe, and I will see you in the next video, guys.